everyone! Welcome back to my channel and seeing that I'm starting with a naked face again, it's obvious that I have an English video. I'm really really excited to introduce you all to a new series that will be happening and I'm gonna call it Melanie's Monthly Mayhem. This new series is obviously monthly. It's gonna come once a month on the very last day of every month. Basically, what I'm gonna do on this series is that I'm gonna do different challenges. The challenges that I'm gonna do in this series will not be limited to only beauty related challenges. So yeah, if you want me to do any challenge, do leave a comment below and tell me which challenge would you like me to try out. What I'm gonna do today is the no mirror makeup challenge. This is gonna be a disaster. And I need to apologize ahead of time if the camera goes out of focus because while I do this no mirror makeup challenge, I will have to flip away my viewfinder and so I will not know if I am in or out of focus. But let's hope that I'm always in focus. All right, so let's get started. First off, let me move in a little closer to the camera so you can see what I'm actually doing to my face and if any part of my face goes out of frame, I'm sorry for that too. As usual, I'm gonna start with concealer. And concealer shouldn't be hard, right? Okay, do that. And blend it away. Oh shoot, I forgot my wet wipes. Remember from my previous video, I said I usually have a wet wipe with me all the time well not all the time whenever I put on makeup because I like to use my hands to apply makeup so I should wipe it every time I finish applying anything so okay let me blend try to blend everything in I think it's okay right right concealer should be really easy Right. I hope this is okay because I'm moving on to BB cream. Today I am using the Maybelline Pure Mineral BB BB Super Cover and the color I'm using is 01 Natural Beige and I'm just maybe I'm getting too much but whatever. I squeeze this much on my fingers on my yeah and then I put it on my face. This shouldn't be too hard either, right? Maybe this is the wrong way to apply BB cream, I'm sorry. Next, I am using the Prestige Cosmetics Wet, no, Multi Task, is it Multi? Multi. Multi Task Wet Dry Powder Foundation. And the color I'm using is um, WD13A Bisque. And I'm just using a powder brush, swirl it all around, and dab it on my face all over my face now comes the hardest part well not the hardest but one of the hardest it is the eyebrows so i'm just using the good old etude house drawing eyebrow the eyebrow 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 pencil okay okay let me try this Spoolie it out. And I am going to coat my eyebrows with this Etude House again. Color my brows mascara in dark brown, I think. Oh, in rich brown. Number one, rich brown. Okay. I feel it. I think I got it. I feel like I'm combing my brow hair. Oh, oh, I think I felt it touch my skin. Oh shoot, it's gonna be pretty dark. But that's okay, I want strong brows today. Comb it from the back. Okay, one of the tips that I mentioned in my previous video is start combing it from the back. So, that way you can make sure that your whole brow hair is colored. strong brows right we're getting into autumn and winter so today's look will be purple I am going to use this 
Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Collection. You know, the really famous eight color. Is it eight? Yeah, eight color palette. And this is number 736 Petal Pusher. I'm just gonna use the brow bone color and just use my finger and apply it in the inner half of my eyes. All right. You guys know I like me some shimmery bright color in the inner corner of my eye so that is what I am doing now okay good right shimmery inner corners and now I'm gonna use the eyelid color I'm just gonna apply it on the outer half of my eyelid And then move on to the crease color and I'm gonna use my pinky and apply it wow it's dark <laughs> I'm gonna apply it on the outermost part of my eye I feel like it's really dark I mean look at how dark it is even after I apply it but you know what Dark makeup is made for fall and winter, right? Do the same thing for the other eye. Yes, yeah, smoky. I'm gonna take this medium angle shading E70, Sigma E70 brush, and just gonna blend that, you know? Blend it like this, blend it inward. Do the same thing for the left side. Then I'm gonna take this E, I think it's E, oh, E30 pencil brush, and I'm gonna take the crease color again, and I am going to line my bottom lash line. And now I am using the definer color. It's a black color with glitter, really pretty glitter, and I'm gonna apply it on the outer V to really define everything. Really intensify the smokiness of this look. More color to the other side. I'm going to use the brush that it came with the palette and try to do some blending, a bit of blending. I think my eyeshadows are okay. Do you think so? Ta da! Pretty, isn't it? I think this eye makeup is perfect for fall right okay i'm using this super quick liquid liner and i'm just gonna shake 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 it off shake it up what i usually do when i line my eye is up and look downward to a mirror but i don't have a mirror so what i do now is just look downward so i make sure that i get every oh sh and my headband just fell down always been bad at putting on eyeliner. I bet my eyeliner looks amazing right now. Don't forget the bottom lash line. Only in the outer half. Just follow the shape of your eyes and then go up. Try to connect the line. Move on to the next eye. right right if you like it like it curl my lashes and apply mascara okay this part is it may seem easy but it's scary you know I never actually curled my eyelashes without a mirror because eh, I'm scared I, I, I I've never done this before shoot how do I do this okay okay I feel like it's no different. Oh wait, it does. I think it's a bit lifted. Good job! Now, let's move on to mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Big Eyes Barbie Mascara. 
Oh, this is not difficult at all. And the bottom lash line. And now we use the, not we, I use the other side and there is the fiber side. See, it's got white stuff and I'm gonna coat it over the mascara. Okay, and go over it again with the mascara side. Ta-da! Can you see the difference? Okay, move on to the next side. Done. My eyes are done. Beautiful things, aren't they? Now, shall we move on to blush? Today, I am going to use this winish color. I'm just gonna dip my brush in there. Can you see? And smile and apply that on the apples, my cheeks. Go up, up, up because I have a really chubby face and body. <laughs> And just gonna do that so that my face will look slimmer or I hope it will look slimmer and now because it's fall right so we need a darker lip so today I'm using the wet and wild vamp it up purple color I've never used this before but I'm really looking forward to it because it looks like a really pretty color blend it out my fingers and I hope I don't get any out of Ooh, nice color I like this color do you like it and I'm done I'm done I think I'm done and now I'm gonna look at myself I am going to flip out the viewfinder dun 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 wow <laughs> I look like a vampire! This could be a Halloween look. This look is seriously perfect for Halloween. Don't you agree? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this no mirror makeup challenge and don't forget to leave a comment below and tell me what you think about my vampy look. And also leave a comment and tell me what other challenges you would like to see me do because I think it's really, really fun. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, thumbs up all right thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye